I was in previous years manipulative, selfish, unfaithful, and a compulsive liar. I lost a lot of quality people who I don't anticipate receiving closure from anytime soon. Sincerely can't blame them for that. Even though I've changed, the guilt and regret still looms over my moment to moment life. How do you guys um, how do you guys think one can go about forgiving themselves and moving on from this type of situation? Yeah. Sorry, I, a little heavy. No, no. I have literally never said this before in my life because I don't think it applies to most people, but you might like Landmark Forum, mm -hmm. which is a relatively inexpensive, I think. I forget. It's like a couple self, hundred bucks. Self uh, personal development program that focuses a lot on this, actually. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's universally good for everybody, but I do think this is kind of what they specialize in, is yeah. moving, moving past your own history and past and yeah. releasing self-blame. So. I'll check that out. It's two days. It's very intense, but it could be life changing. That's a good. That's a good one. So first off, congrats. I think that paragraph is a thing. If there are people who are those things, ninety nine point nine percent of them never come around to saying it <laughs> like that. You know, I have been X Y Z. Yeah. Uh, so, congratulations for that. Uh, with regards to forgiveness, what stands in the way oftentimes is a belief that one ought to be punished for what one has done. Uh, and that that is the, in many cases, the biggest, I don't deserve to feel good or to feel proud of my present day accomplishments because of my past. And Landmark is a great thing. If you want a book that sort of talks about this, I think the 12-step program, if you look at it in AA, and Russell Brand has a book called Recovery, has is much less about alcohol specifically mm -hmm. and much more about reviewing your past and coming to terms seeking to make amends with the things that you have done and to forgiving yourself seeking forgiveness where other people can give it to you but taking the steps required to forgive oneself so that could be a nice program for you as well uh, but everything that you have done and this is kind of I, I don't know if it's going to resonate but I'll say it I don't believe in free will. <laughs> I think that when people have done things, they do them having done the best that they could at that time. And people go, I should have known better. It's like, what do you mean you should have known better? Mm -hmm. Were the thoughts in your head more enlightened? No. Well, they were really terrible, bad thoughts. Okay. What do you think was driving you? Like it was these, these terrible thoughts combined with my circumstances combined with this made awful behavior that's not exempting you and saying continue doing that behavior in the future mm -hmm. it's to have compassion and recognize that given all the ingredients in this behavioral pie of course you were that way and to have empathy understanding for that person and i think from understanding if you can review why you did the things comes forgiveness mm -hmm. uh, the so other thing i would say as someone who has stayed up at night reviewing things they wish they'd done differently in the past even for stupid reasons, no amount of thinking about the past actually lets you go back there and change it. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of awkward conversations uh, with women in college that I have reviewed ashamedly <laughs> and none of them have magically gotten better. <laughs> so what I would say is there's nothing you can do. It sucks. It happened. What you can control is the future because I do believe in free will. And I think that actually if you go carry yourself going forward as somebody who is attempting to do good in the world, help people, volunteer, be positive, make people smile, and make it so that you can look back on your recent history and be proud of yourself. That if you live that way, that you'll start to look at the totality of your life and be able to be proud of it and be proud of who you are today because today is just a moment, really. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is the, ultimately the recipe to forgiving yourself, loving yourself, is going, you know what, these things did happen, but today... I'm going to help a homeless person. I'm going to volunteer at a dog shelter. I'm going to make people smile and laugh and doing it for a week and a month. And then being proud of who you are today does not require you to be proud of everything you've done in the past. So that would be my advice. Mm -hmm. Good luck. I think, all, I think that can all be very helpful. Free will isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. You chose to say that.